One moment. We have five minutes. Yes. I think we can start right we can start right away because people are already um, logging in and they will be appearing very soon so the people are you expecting i think we have large audience so let's see how many people come and watch this because this is uh, arranged in the 11th hour but people even after we end this people will still watch it <clears throat> so yes people have started uh, appearing and started giving their comments wait a sec So hello everyone, thanks for joining us for this conversation and especially our two gentlemen who have been kind enough to agree to come on this panel discussion. And tonight we will be discussing on the ST demand issue in the state of Manipur. And this issue is be, has been or is under still um, very hot at this moment and it needs a deliberation, it needs rationalization from both the parties. So let's see. So before we begin, I would like to introduce the two gentlemen that have joined for this discussion. But instead of me introducing, I think I would better ask them to introduce themselves. So Rajan, can you start yourself? Yeah. Hello, everyone. I am Hijam Rajan from Delhi. I'm like, I am a Miti. I belong to a Miti community. I've settled in Delhi since last 30, 40 years. And, uh, I'm bringing my business in Delhi. And also, I am a social activist, and I like to uh, advocate for why the Mithi should not be included in the ST list. Is my approach to everyone. So, Thank you. Okay. Hi. I am Zhang Misa, tribal by birth and Kuki by identity, and Manipur Reef by being from Manipur. I am here to speak out my mind on the ST demands of the Meite community. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Um, it's I welcome to both of you once again for this discussion. To start with, I want to ask Mr. Rajan Hijam, why do you want to become ST at all, Shadow Tribe? See, it is very frankly, the Maitei do not want to become a Shadow Tribe. Maitei want to revive the, the old status. I would like to refer uh, British India, the gadget, India gadget from 1901 to 1920, 1930, the Métis was in the Egypt indigenous civil tribe list. In the 1950, the minority commission was formed after post independent uh, that was headed by the uh, home minister of that time. Mr. Uh, uh, Sardar Patel and the, one of them, the Gopinat Bordole, was a member of that from the Nordist. By some miscommunication, the Maiti was excluded from that uh, civil tribe list. By nature, by, uh, you know, 
mistake of the the government official the matey was excluded from the the list of the tribal so uh, matey is the you know everyone know that matey is the major population in the manipur of after 50 50 ratio or somewhat is very confined in the uh, imphal valley my approach and my appeal to the or neighboring communities is maitei always one the cohesive progress if maitei survive in the valley the other community can be survived in manipur otherwise we all will loss our own land now it is the train communication or some the governments uh, you know uh, the policies it will be very difficult to survive entire community not only particular community this is our appeal to our uh, brothers and sister of the manipur okay <clears throat> okay so um thank you so much for that i think you referred to 1901 where you you claimed that the, the maidens remain as an st but by mistake of some officials government officials they were not included i think it is there any official document that has recorded yes, such of course yes of course that document is there okay so we'll keep we'll hang we'll hang on there for some time but now mr hajeng um hajeng misau as as a tribal from manipur from jurajanpur what is your stand should may they get st status shadow tribe status and if they should why and if they should not why i i don't have any problems may they demanding st status in manipur because that's one of the democratic right mm -hmm. but i am wondering why such a community who has been already consider advanced community by this contemporary is still coming back to that level because they have reached to certain level and they they intention and the whole purpose of being a maitei community should should be how to go higher and move forward rather than coming down to the level of st because she has cited 1901 or 1950 something years so by that time maitei at that time could be to that level to that status where they could also be given st status but look at look at the change look at the, the kind of advancement they have look at the kind of development they have um if if they keep harping on 1901 when we are in this 21st century i think that's very unfortunate and one way i feel like if i am a maitei i would feel very embarrassed by demanding a status because there are certain criteria by which you should become st st is not by birth st should be by with your standard so that's why um i am saying maintain demanding st status is one of the democratic rights but are they in a very good sense that they are they are trying to come down from le that level to the to one of the lowest level that's that's my question see okay. uh, there is no any question to come down from the upper level to the lower level you, 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 uh, you do not you do not proud yourself as a st you uh, why you are uh, you know uh, thinking in the downgrade yourself in the st status i i think you should not think yourself in the downgrade this is only constitutional provision 
this is uh, you think you maybe think that maybe can grab, grab all that uh, facilities and this, this is your uh, misunderstanding we should sit together we should not you know uh, go to the violence we should sit together we should understand each other because we are your brother we are taking the role of the elder brother in the manipur so if the elder brother cannot survive in that state particular area the younger brother cannot be survived may they always approach the cohesive progress for the entire community it should be understood by the old i am wondering all all, uh, all 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 community of the manipur mm -hmm. and entire area yesterday's some i'm wondering uh, mr Le uh, uh, mr uh, editor yesterday i I, I I went to your the discussion about the Maiti uh, Maiti Queen Maiti Princess where uh, have relative relation with the Tripura uh, princess or Tripura royal families. That Tripura royal family also the belong to the tribal families. You should know it. That Mister uh, that uh, who is the leader of Mota. He's a tribe. He belong to the tribal family. Okay, okay. So without going much detail into uh, other states for now, uh, Mr. Hijam yeah. has something to respond to, you know, that ST yeah. is not that kind of a lower status. So it's anytime. That is why, that is why I would like to oh. say, I would like to convey to my okay. brother. Hizam, my, Hizam, my I, brother. Think I, Hizam, I think I should come in because uh, the uncle has given time for me okay, to okay. speak. Please, carry on, carry on. Because Maitai has. Mithi has been so proud of having a unique culture and they, they are always so proud of saying that uh, they were once a princely state go on by the on Maharaja and then they are also so proud saying that they are literature in, in terms of literature they are much much more advanced than the other community um, comparatively with with the, the other two tribals they are very much advanced because they they are given uh, even it, <clears throat> under ten the, the, their, their language has also been recognized and when it comes to education level they are much much higher than the other two tribal communities when it comes to like development also and culturally literally and, and even in terms of history, they are always taking pride. So proud of having such good history. Now, that's why I'm saying why you stoop so low, such a proud community who've been taking so pride of the culture, the, your literature, your governance systems, and the way how uh, you advance, stooping so low to the level of coming down to the level of ST. Saddle tribe, because Saddle tribe is a status given to a particular community who are very much back, backward comparatively with other, other community. So that's why now the question, I, I don't see any rationale behind your demand of FT when you are saying it's about survival. Look at, I have all the data. Honestly, I have the data. If you want me to prove, I can supply you. In 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 the, in Thai Manipur, out of sixty MLA, you have forty MLAs. The tribal community, we have only twenty MLA. Even if all the tribal communities comes together, we don't have any power to rule over you. You have forty MLA. If any amendment comes, it we lost you, Miso. MLA always has a say in that because we are living in democracy. In democracy, your number is very powerful. So when it comes to the development, I am not speaking from the lens of tribal. I'm speaking from the realities. I'm speaking from the lens of the fact which is at present happening in Manipur. Look at the, in terms of the fund which is being uh, given to the tribal and the valley people. You might be saying, you are occupying only 10% of the total, the total geography, but the, out of 
handrate, 90% funds are all concentrated in the valleys. So I don't know why you are saying survival when, when all the funds, when all the developments and all the, all the uh, programs that, that comes either from the centers, when all the 90% are concentrated in the valley and you are, you are talking about survival, I don't know what do you mean by that. that that's something which, which makes me surprised and that's something which I cannot understand because my logic says, I think there's no rationale behind this ST demand. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So um, my, my very dear friend, my very brother, response. My, my brother, you should not uh, demoralize yourself. The, the, the government of Manipur never treated any parcelity to hill and the plain area. I have, I have enough proof to say that. Uh, you have you to show that. Saying, you, you might be to... saying, you might be saying there's no partiality, but the truth speaks, the data speaks that, that there's partiality. So I think it's uh, it's high time we all speak the truth. Either I belong to the tribals or I belong to the Maitai community. It's high time we speak the truth. So I should not be I should not be too emotional when when we talk on all these things. Uh, I should not speak from the lens of the tribals, but I should speak from the lens of humanity and from the lens of truth. No, the discussion should be very logical, not should be illogical. Okay. The Manipur government never, the Manipur government never treat in the parcelate as a parcelity. No, that's what, yeah, that's what is, the Maitai community see, keeps harping. See, that the, they say the, something the, and they do different. The, the ADC, the ADC that's is the different appointed. thing. They say the, something. The they say something and they do different things. That, that's what's function. happening. Autonomous Everyone, every human being who is in the right sense, they are the, the witness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, my, very, my very dear friend, ADC is a responsibility of the hill development. ADC. You yes, that. that's true. ADC. That's true. Is there, is there I, any, any, any power given to the ADC? Yes, absolutely. 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 Like, is there the any power has been given. The autonomous the council, council no? has been standing there in namesake. There's no, there's no power at all. You are trying to hook us by saying that ADC is there, but is there any power given to the ADC? Even 371C, you look at 371C, the central given special rights, special treatment under 371C, okay. but that's not completely... If, 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 you are, if, if you are saying that this is the inequality, so if in the in the very simple graph I have given this, so we want the cohesive cohesive progress, neither up and down. So we should be very equal. That is why that is the only the treatment maybe should be included in the ST list. That is okay. my logic. See, no. I would like to refer. I would like to refer our neighbor state, the Bodoland. The Bodoland, they have four or five member of parliament's representation to the Delhi. They are entire the Bodo community is there. ST. So, what is the point? My point is that if you are saying that. The, our representation, our development, our culture, you should proud it. You should proud on your own culture. You should okay. proud on our own culture. I proud of my my own culture being a Mete. You no. should be. Now okay. that you're Nizam, 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 sir, Nizam, sir, let me come in here. Okay. Okay. You were saying ST demand is made because of survival issue. So what do you mean by survival issue? See, because on I, the question of survival issue, you are demanding ST. So what see, is that survival issue that you put up? See, you please speak out so that the entire population understand I, what is your definition I, I of survival. I mean survival means co-existing, co-exist, cohesive progress. Do you not? You don't think we are co-existing? You don't think you are, co see, you don't think is, we are co-existing now? Sir, you are questioning on our demand. That is why you are questioning. No, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying this is this is, the, this, is not a, this is this is not the answer of the 
coexisting. You are questioning on our demand. You should, you should proud of yourself that our brother also, mighty also in our community, in our list. You should See, proud of Please listen to me. At the very outset, I clearly mentioned I don't have any right to say no to the demands of SC status because that's your democratic rights, which you can demand. Whether you get it or not is something different. But in <laughs> democracy, every citizen has the right to voice. Okay. But what I'm saying is, your rationale behind your demand of SP status is on the issue of survival. That's why I question your issue of survival. What do you mean when, when all the 90% of your all the funds are all concentrated in Bali and now again, you are raising the question again, of survival? Again, what do again, you mean by again, survival? Again, I would like to say you, the 90% of the fund siphon in the plain area, this is your false statement. This I'm not saying siphoning up. I'm not no, saying siphoning no, no, up. No, no, you, 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 you mean, almost ninety percent of no, the fund. You, you mean, you mean utilizing the ninety percent fund on in the plain area. This is, this is very illogical. See, the matter is subsidies, and we should not be, you know, see the today's course world. That that is that, a supreme force. I have the data. Uh, um, so the, we should I not be. The, data. the uh, data has been extracted by the the ex MLA. The ex MLA, how, how department wise, the allocation of funds. The allocation of funds because 90% of the, the entire pop, money pool is hills. So, in it, only in 10% of the land, the larger chunk of the funds is always kept for the valley. Whereas 90% of the land, only a meager amount of salary has been allocated in, in, in department wise. I have those department wise fund allocation. If you demand, I will I will supply them. Your your your, your no. allegation your allegation is no. very far from the truth. What what is so wrong in giving ST status to our Mede brothers? Number one, just because they have been getting all most of the funds that they should not be given status ST status anymore. Or what is your main argument that um, what is so wrong in giving this status to our Mede brothers? What I'm saying is I've already, uh, I, I clearly said that I don't have any problem making demanding ST. But what I'm saying is like, are they fulfilling all those criteria to become ST, number one? Okay. Number, That's two, hmm. number two, if if they are to be given ST status, we don't have a problem. But under condition, they should be given the status hmm. because the tribals, we have our own lens. Okay, we have our own lens, and it has been, it has been proved through the merger agreement that even even one even the the Chandil Nagas already clearly once published in the local paper saying that money the, the entire hill is not part of Manipur. It, it's just part of Manipur now politically, but historically the hills is not part of Manipur. They clear they clearly publish in the paper. Even the entire hill people we, no, what no, we no, believe no. is I, that. I I I I I will I will complete this one. We are in one and I we we are in independent India. And you come. This is because we, take we it quick because this comes to Rajan. I have to complete. Response you. I have to complete. You respond me once I am done. Please make okay. it quick so that Rajan can respond. Yeah. So, so even one of one cookie guy who said of 72 square thousand square mile was part of the emerger agreement, which one Silong newspaper also, I think, I believe has published that one during that time. So, so 70, miles is, 72 thousand miles is the Imphal area or the whole Manipur? That that's part of the merger agreement. I don't know the Impal area of the whole Manipur. I don't know. Okay. That's how, what what they what they believe. Okay, and the, the the last one is now on survival issue. If the demand is on survival issue, okay, then what is the things that they want so that they can survive? That's my question. Mm. Now, if if they have to be given SC status. Our land is 
protected by the constitution for the tribal should not be affected at any cost. Number two, if the government, if the central government, on the condition that the ST quotas and reservation of the existing ST quota can be increased to that level, which will accommodate the existing, the present ST, at the same time, the Maitai community, then we don't have problem. They okay. can become ST. Okay, so, so Rajan, you have heard his points very clearly. And do, 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 responding to him, at, at the same time, I have a question for you also. So after you get ST status, what are the benefits that you are going to get or you expect to get the benefits that you're not getting now? Or if you have mentioned clearly about Bodoland, like five ML, five, five MBs representing Bodoland, which is a good thing, of course. And, you know, apart from other benefits, if you are not getting land, not able to buy land, then what will you get as an ST? See, I respect the constitution of India. We are, we are in Indian Union. We are not out of India. We must respect our constitution, whatever mentioned in the constitution. We will respect the constitution of India. We will respect the Baba Sahib Ambedkar's constitution. We let the executive proceed the recommendation uh, that we uh, should not be contempt of the honorary court, uh, honorable high court of the Manipur. Mm -hmm. This is under jurisdiction. So we should not go to that side because our discussion must be in a very healthy discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, but please answer this question. What benefits, what more benefits see, do you see, right see, after see, becoming a see, may they, may they never, never ask for, for any, any benefit. May they always approaching for the who has a progress. What I mean to you, the equality always our neighbor brother, our brother says that we are in inequality. The, the fund, you have been explained that the 90% fund has been uh, ever, ever, the use in the plain area. Now, the nine should not be ninety percent. Now should be in the the same. Okay, but that is the fund utilization is you are putting your argument in a in an, in in a very retrospective manner. Now let's look to the future. What if you get an ST status? What benefits you are going to get? Whatever more you more? get, see the, that I, I I told them. We will respect the constitution of India, whatever the old the article, article 19, article 14, that whatever mentioned in the article of the Indian constitution, we will follow that. But I'm not, I'm still not able to get uh, you. Yeah, let me come in, let me come in. Uh, I, I do, I do agree, I do agree to Isam when he said constitution has to be respected. Yeah. I do agree to that point. Being, being one, a citizen of India. Yeah. Being a citizen of India, we must respect the constitution of India. Now, for peaceful coexistence, the government of Manipur must respect yes, 371C, which is the constitution of India. A special provision given to the tribal people must be respected. Number but two, if, become tribal, if, the, if the constitution of India has to be respected, please fulfill the criteria given by the constitution to become ST. And the question has to be asked by yourself. Do we fulfill the criteria to become or Miss you have muted yourself. Please unmute it. Yeah. I, 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 oh, sorry. I was saying I do agree to say his point saying the constitution of India has to be respected. To do that, prove it by your action by respecting 371C. Number two, respect the constitution of India, which clearly laid down the criteria to become settled tribes. And ask yourself whether you fulfill those criteria. Can I respond? Please, please. Uh, that is why all the criteria, so what do, that, you know, if the criteria is not fulfilled, let the uh, executive or the, the this is very uh, 
you know official process let the official the executive must, must proceed on that mm. you should not or you should not uh, you know question to the uh, the proceeding that is why the mighty people want a demand or revival this is not a demand uh, asking for the revival of the st status so we hope the mighty people hope that our brothers will not uh, question on other issues the criteria let up Mm, mm. executive yeah. on that. Okay. So, so Hizam, please, please don't feel bad when the tribals comes together and oppose your demand because that's one of our democratic rights. You have the democratic rights to demand what you want. The same way we have the democratic right to protest what you want. So don't take it communal. Okay. No, 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 no. You, you I have, must, you, you, you I have must, mistaken. You have mistaken. You have I mistaken. Must, word. I must, I must request you to once again clarify on the survival question that you raised for demanding ST status. Okay, I will come to that point, and I have a, I have a question for Hijam. Hijam, so the, the, there are people saying that the main issue, the main reason and rationale behind the demand for ST status for the Mayday brothers is because their lands, their lands and their their areas is you know, so limited as the population grows. And the 62% of Manipur population belongs to our Mayday brothers, but they own and they occupy only about 10 to 20% of Manipur's land. So there is no future for them. And they say it's an existential problem. So after a few decades, they will not be, their land will not be able to um, take them anymore. So accommodate the Armadia brothers anymore. So I think many people say that it's land is the main issue why ST status is being demanded because as of now, Armadia brothers cannot buy land from the tribals which own like more than 70 to 80% of Manipur's land having a population of, you know, 38% of population. So is land one of the main agenda for demanding ST status? Do you think the Really, people will go to the hill. Or hill. see, you are in the Manipur, you are in the Nagaland, we are in the Northeast. Do you find any those who inhabited in the plain area and he relocated to the hill area? Do you find any? But we will I don't find think. that problem will arise when in Fall Valley. The cannot... hill people comes down to the plain the area, population. but the plain people never went to the hill area. This is a wrong narration. This is a mm. very misconcept. This is okay. wrong propaganda. The mighty people will grab the hill, hill land. No, this is no. This is very wrong narration. We do not consider it. Uh, we so we our brothers should not consider that the hill uh, mighty people will grab their land or a hill or the hill people comes down to the land uh, plain area. But plain people, plain those who are inhabited in the plain area, the city people will not never go through the hill area. So, okay, that's interesting. That, that, that's why. That's why. That's why I raised the question. When no, you should saying, not stuck. You should not stuck on that that, that point because the no. mighty people will never go up to the hill. The hill peoples come down to the for the survival in the plain area in the city area because that all the businesses see. This is very natural in the hill extreme hill and terrain area the communication is very difficult mm -hmm. you agree it or not mm -hmm. it may not be the case for now but in future when the when the land cannot accommodate the population the growing population anymore there will come a time when people have to move off move out of infall because it's an existential problem see the japan and the new egg is the, one of the most populated areas. Mm -hmm. How they are surviving? Mm -hmm. Do you find it's, it? Do you, mm -hmm. do you find any multi stories in the hill area? You will find the older multi stories houses or offices 
for business areas in the plain area, in the, plain, find, in the Imphal Valley. It, I think we're finding the hills nowadays, but Imphal it is more. Imphal is more. Yeah. But do you think after getting the ST status, many people go to the hill area for the business? I don't think. No, that's why that, that's why I'm I'm asking you because the rationale behind you demanding SC status is survival. So when you are saying survival, that's something which my logic and my mortal thinking cannot un, uh, like comprehend because what you are saying survival issue uh, because look at the power structure without any bias I'm. I'm 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 saying the truth. Look at the power structure. Look at look at the uh, development uh, like uh, percentage. Uh, like if you look at the terms, and now you are saying uh, land is not not the one that you talk about survival again, because you you clearly said even if you become ST, you will never go to the hills. Then then what is the survivals that you talk about? I have already told that this is the matter of the co-existing. Mm -hmm. Not now, only the survival. No, I see, 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 yeah. that mm. uh, you, your personal motive or personal views is that is, that is your personal. This is the complete entire communities and whole co-existing communities question. Mm -hmm. That you have expressed your, Mr. Hanjang, Misao have expressed your own views. That is your personal view. You should not. Be, we should not be in a personal. Uh, Ijam Rajan should not be the personal. It's the matter question of the entire community. It's mm -hmm. the question. Is the matter of the entire citizen. No, uh, should no, not no. be in a very personal. Ijam, whatever I express here is my personal view. I'm. I'm very clear now. Okay, these are my. Per we have lost you, Misal. That is your personal insecurity. You should not be in the insecurity. You should come out from the insecurity. We should be. But, <laughs> we should... Yes, I got your point. Now, as per your understanding, from your perspective, the Maide brothers do not have any intention or agenda of acquiring the tribal land in the future. Why? Am I right? Why, why, I, why, why many people should uh, you know grab the uh, land of the hill? Right, right. It's it's very interesting to hear such. This is, uh, this, is this is very wrong concept has been you know uh, yeah. roaming around uh, hmm. some 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 particular person. So this hmm. should this should not be misconcept misperception. Hello, we should. Yeah, we lost you, Miss Hao. Anyway, we are we are we. Yeah, are, sorry. We are dwelling on the topic that Rajan is still insisting that our media brothers don't have such agenda of acquiring the tribal land. So let's rule that out for now for the sake of discussion. And then if land is not a thing, if no benefits attached to you know getting ST status, then why is why are people fighting for ST status for the last 10 years since 2013? sacrificing a lot of things efforts resources time money and i still want to understand what is one thing what is one thing that our media brothers wants to achieve after getting st status this is not question about the achieving the st status this is the question of revival of the st status. restoration of the Re restoration of the st status the our brothers thinks that the Maiti people is using the fund in the uh, plain area, the 90 percent. That should the, the doubt should be clear. That is why we want the in the equal, the up and down should not be, you should be in the very equal like this. Not should be like this. You have blamed that the Maiti people using the fund in the plain area, the 90 percent and uh, 10 percent are using in the uh, hill area. That should not be. That is very clear, clear motive, clear agenda. We want in a coexisting, yes, cohesive. So I mean, again, I repeat you, cohesive progress. Okay. We are same in the future, 
look wise or food in our habitat do we find any different from you you and me so you want to make everything equal as an st yes why not so that why means not? Before getting, before okay, getting okay 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 i'll come to that point I, i'll come to that point uh, can i come in okay what what would be your point what would be your point because i have a problem here that a logical problem a ration, rationalization of he is saying that he wants everything equal after getting st status so he is also indirectly acknowledging that things are not equal for now one graph no, no. Is this is i'm not saying that i these things are not equal the things are not equal the our our friend hazang misao is saying that the things are not equal the funds are using in the plain area the 90% funds are used in the plain area and 10% funds are using in a hill area that's okay. why that is this is very wrong concept that is why we want okay the equality that we want the cohesive progress for all brothers equally all the 34 tribe uh, 34 uh, community and plus maitai should be in a very equal that's so all. are, are, are all is, the community are all the communities equal now yes that should be. then why is the need for st demand if all communities are in cohesive equal status what why is the need for st demand if the maitai is not included in the st the the cohesive progress is impossible okay so things are not cohesiveness is not there for now because my, my dear brothers are not st as per feeling by that our uh, brothers their insecurity feeling of the insecurity that we want if we is, we sit together their insecurity feelings will clear okay and can i come in yeah please me so yeah uh it's it's uh, i'm very happy to hear rajan saying that equality should be there in manipur that's something which we've been longing for a long back because um, um the stark reality reality is like inequality are there number one so when he is saying coexistence in equality is something which he really wanted so that's something we also wanted Okay, happy then. Now, let's let's also if if we are talking in terms of equality, let there be thirty thirty representation in the assembly, and let there be fifty fifty fund allocation. Then then the the so called equality can come in, unless you act, and then unless you prove with your action. Uh, simply having equality will not work. So let's be serious in our words. When I'm saying 90% or uh, like, let's say 70, 80, 90% fund allocation, uh, you, 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 you feel that's not appropriate and that doesn't sound logical. But when you look at the fund allocation, I think that's something which, which is the reality. This is not something which I just uh, give my view, but that's something which uh, the fund allocation in department wise has been extracted, and that's what that, that's what's happening here. That's why if you are talking in terms of equality, that's something which everyone is wishing to happen that in in Manipur. So let's be practical when we say equality, and then let's translate it into action. Then only we can believe. Yes, uh, Hijam, are you still there, Rajan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, what do you think will be the first step to achieve a cohesiveness in the state of Manipur? See, that only the let's, let's come down to a practical reality now. The practical reality is that the see, uh, let the constitution proceed. So, what are the uh, you know rights are given in the in the constitution, uh, our friend Mr. Hazang Misau have said that let the Meiti community uh, fulfill the criteria. Mm -hmm. Let the recommendation goes if the uh, uh, criteria is not fulfilled, let the center reject it. But mm -hmm. let the recommendation let go. Let the process. Let, let the, the process. process yes. Yeah. The, our uh, yeah. assembly assembly must. Assembly must respect the uh, 
the order of the honorable manipur high court okay so i have a question for um, misau also what if they've qualified all the criteria and get the st status what will be the tribal's response to that what demands or what conditions do you think you will put forward i believe in constitution yes and if the metes who are now advanced community has already overcome to a certain level of being backward community sai community and if they really fulfill that criteria who are we to oppose them on that's my point okay so assuming that they have fulfilled everything mm -hmm. what will be the tribal's response tomorrow that's why i'm saying that's why i'm saying i clearly laid it down very well if they fulfill the criteria on certain condition mm -hmm. number one of our existing lens the tribal lens should never be should never be disturbed but the constitution will allow them to purchase land once they become tribal but that's why i'm saying on certain condition that okay. the other but the other condition is they should become tribe when the central agrees to increase the percentage of reservation to the existing reservation okay to accommodate the newly to accommodate in... them okay. because because what i'm saying is like that's why inequality when he is saying equality inequality he is saying now look at the high court how many tribals are there in the high court that's a question why is this st demand recommended by shc high court to the the state government because the high court has been high court has been only the seat of the metey community number 2 they know there's no tribal that's why the high court has recommended second is they know that if it is if if they recommend it to the state government they know that out of 60 40 are the are from the valleys so this valley will definitely go for that now when you are talking in, in terms of equality where is equality in that sense you know the for in, in in assembly 40 of them will always go for that even if the entire hill mls comes together 40 will 40 will rule over them that's why i'm saying there is a a little sense of uh, i don't know political game here where they very well understood if it comes from the sc it can easily be passed by the assembly mm. because they have they know their strength the power structure so in that sense they are playing that game but what i'm saying is if they really fulfill every details of the criteria then who we are to to oppose that mm. but if they are to be given st status on that certain condition they should be given that's my point i have one um logical problem with your condition the second point the reservation if manipur becomes all the populations from manipur become st what kind of reservation are we talking about is 100% st so what kind of reservation are, do you, are we talking about but at the central level see, see, what i'm saying is see see now listen to me now yeah now the mate are enjoying the S SC reservation or BC reservation. Yes. Now, if, if you look at the percentage of reservation, S SC reservation is much higher than S ST reservation in Manipur. Yes. And yes. even OBC reservation, they are still enjoying OBC and SC reservation. Yeah, and they will now, have to. Right. Now, if ST has to be given to them, the SC reservation has to be cut down. OBC reservation has to be cut down. and then st reservation reservation has to go up that's my point but for who i mean all the 100% populations are st so what reservation are you talking about if they become so then, and those those community who are under this sc has to be delisted from sc 
Right. They have to leave SC, OPC status and come to ST. They have to be delisted. Delisted, I'm saying. Delisted, yes. They have to be delisted from SC my, and OPC. My, 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 I'm very amazed to know that my learned friend has questioned to the Manipur High Court. This is very wise statement. Uh, we should respect the vulnerable court. You have saying that only the Maiti peoples are in the Manipur High Court. That's why the the, the, the order has been. This is very wrong statement. You, uh, you, you Rajesh, you please not, give me. You please give me the. We should the, not. The, the statement is yes. the present High Court uh, percentage of tribals See, in the present the, High Court. The, the, the court, the court, the court assumed by the by the evidence and the court assumed by the executive powers, not by the population wise, not by the majority or a minority. This you should know it. No, I am not court, talking court under, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not talking you, you, this is, No, this is your wrong interpretation. It will be spread out to the, your, your community or our community. This is very wrong message you are giving to the community. Your, I do, very, I do. I'm saying I do respect high court orders. So you should respect to the high court. You are giving the wrong message to the, your community or our community or the entire community, entire region. The, the only the Maiti people are dominating in the high court or uh, the, the the other people are not. This is very wrong message you are giving. You are disrespecting no, to the then, honorable then high court. You give me then, then you give me the data, no? Give no, me the data. That, that data is not simply, that means you, you, you one one day then, you will question to the. Uh, uh, apex court to the supreme court also but then don't simply sensationalize my no, point this is i am not sensationalizing the facts and figure so I am, you give me the facts and figure then i will believe that you give are, me the facts and figure you are confessing don't sensationalize the, don't sensationalize no, give me the facts and figure see yeah you you should come to the fact see court court never in the emotion court never in the by population court goes in the evidence Court, the assumption, the, the, the proceeding of the court is by the evidence, not by any by the population. This is not a private hospital or private, uh, you know, organization. This is a under government of India. So we unless we, unless we, you, we must, you provide me unless you provide me the no no no, no 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 this is this I is think not, you are just simply sensationalizing right. about this. No, this is not right. This is not right. You must correct it. You must apologize. And no, you, you I'm saying you must give me the facts and figure. Give me the facts and figure. No, facts and figure is not a question. Facts and figure. Court, court, court goes under under the evidence. Court will will execute the their own power. See, this is not by the population or minority or uh, 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 or uh, uh, majority. See, this is not a political uh, uh, that uh, ground. Court is execute on their own. Your question, your questioning to the Manipur High Court. This is a very big question. Okay, okay. I think we, we I, I don't know, we live in a democratic society. I think if we, you... We live in a democratic society, yeah. but this is not uh, right. I, I, I have no right to question to the High Court. Even in a district court or a, any court, I, you can appeal to the court by, yeah. by the mm -hmm. procedure. Mm -hmm. you, but this is not, a, you know, a banana republic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think so. Um, if there are many points to still cover, and so if... we should sit together, we should sit together in in a very you know good environment. See, no one can stop to uh, you know we are in a democratic country. Yeah. Is, that is our democratic right. So we understand, must be understand, should understand. Mighty people should be included in the ST list. No one should be questioned on that. This is my point to this part. As, as much as you can demand the Mighty brothers to be in the ST list, the tribals can also question why may they can may they should be in the ST this list. Is, this, oh. See again, again the question should be uh, you know on a U turn or a S turn or a zero turn. So it's, let us come to the conclusion. Uh -huh. As much as you can demand, others can also question. That's what makes up democracy. So I think I, I I believe you would agree with that. 
as much as you can demand the status, as others can also criticize your demand. Would you agree with that? So let the court decide it. Let the court decide. But yes. in the process, in the process, people have the right to criticize. People have the right to appreciate. So that's something that we cannot leave out. So let's not dwell our discussion on that. Whether people see, see, we are in the same state. We or you should appreciate that they are coming to the, our own level. This you, you must or he or she must happy on that. But in in lieu of that, you are questioning on that. This is very unfortunate. So for the coexisting or uh, cohesive progress, you should appreciate. The mighty people are coming to the ST status. So let us come to the end. Yes, so, that's the whole point of our uh, discussion. Uh, I, I will come to I will come to my concluding remark. Yeah, please, please. Now, Manipur is a state where different communities are living together since time immemorial. Now, what I am I what the message that I would like to put up is number one. Let's let's respect our differences mm -hmm. and also accept our similarities. And that's the only powerful tool through which we can coexist. And that is that is the only way we can fight polarization in Manipur. Because uh, I would I would convey this message strongly to our entire Manipur population. We should not be the victims of the external forces they are playing among us by dividing ourselves. Ultimately, at the end, nobody will be a winner. We, we, we all will be a loser. So let's try to see the bigger picture that is at, in, at play in our whole uh, narrative. Let's understand this one. Let's not succumb to the external forces that are dividing us and trying to rule us. Now, in the name of ST or whatever, they are trying to further polarize the existing peacefully living people. So let's understand this and come together to our sense. That's the only way we can live together. We can also coexist together. I very, I very appreciate on your, your uh, concluding uh, remarks. My, uh, my uh, I, I, I respect your uh, your statement. So let us come to the uh, uh, conclusion. My last point is the mighty should be included in the list of civil tribe of the Manipur and the central government's list. And yeah, we, so, we, 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 we my day people respect the constitution of India, whatever the article, whatever the yes, uh, yes, yes. Let the constitution and the and, and the court decide for this process. Yes. But I have, I mean, before we exit this discussion, I have one last question for Misao. Um, from my observation, as I read people's writings, as I read people's statements. What our Mede brothers are concerned is um, the tribals, there is an accusation that the tribals are accepting number of immigrants in flow from other country, Myanmar. And that is making up the tribal population bigger and bigger. And that's what makes our Mede brothers insecure. Because there is an accusation, I'm not saying it is right or it is wrong, but there is an accusation that there is an influx of um, the tribals coming from the Myanmar and, and you know, practicing all this poppy cultivation. So that's, you know, one accusation that, you know, the Armenian brothers are making everywhere. So how do you respond to that? And after that, we can conclude this discussion. Migration and immigration is a natural phenomenon mm. which you cannot fight. It's not only something which is Manipur, Manipur is experiencing. Now, when they are accusing of the tribal population influx to Manipur, I think they should be 
bold enough to give authentic data. Mm, mm. Without authentic data, I think that's a baseless accusation. Mm. Number two, they should also understand what is happening in our neighboring country. Mm. So on humanitarian ground, these refugee asylum seekers should be given refugee status. So the government has to come up with a very clear plan and strategy how to accommodate this refugee because humanitarian ground, you, you have, because when someone is asking for help, I believe Maiti communities are such a community having lots of values, which we call it Bebha. I really appreciate them for their Bebha. Mm. And that's something which we really learn from them because, but unfortunately this Bebha has been really <laughs> coming down. And mm. because of that, the dying Bebha among the community I think that that's what's happening because of that the existing uh, situation is because of that uh, the values of Beba are coming down. Now, when they are accusing, uh, I don't they, get that. What that Beba? What, what is that? Now I'm saying, Maitei communities are full of Beba, which is the local terms for full of values and principles. Mm. Okay, so th because that's something with the tribal. The tribal really, uh, I mean, really appreciate them, and we. That's that's the the reason why we keep saying that. That's. I think you have muted yourself, in Yeah. That's that's what we really appreciate. Now, now I'm saying, when you are making accusation without any authentic data, I think. That's that that should not mislead the people, mm -hmm. and just and when you are talking about the, the tribal influx, it's not only the tribal. There are large population, population even in Myanmar. Where okay. do they go? Mm -hmm. Where do they go? Where do this Maitai go? Mm -hmm. Because all the civil populations are the victims of the military juntas. Where do they go? Why are these finger pointed to only particular tribal community? Mm -hmm. So, so that should not be. What I'm saying is, I'm I'm not denying influx is not happening. It might happen mm -hmm. because I'm. That's why I clearly said immigration and migration is a natural phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Lots of Indians goes to America. Lots of Indians goes to Dubai. That's a natural phenomenon, but the government has to come up with a clear policy how to check and balance all this system. And yeah. Unless that is done, then that's a baseless accusation. Yeah, there is a difference between legal and illegal so, immigration. So, so my, 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 my learned friend, Mr. Hazang Misao, has advocated that he, he, he also know that the influx is the problem, natural phenomenon. It is uh, the conflict in the border area is natural phenomenon. So we should stand together to protect our land, our country, our state from the illegal, like Bengal, uh, you know, uh, from the that Rohingya, Muslim, or any, you know. So because uh, this is our country, we should stand together to protect the illegal immigrants. So. Uh, you have accepted the illegal migrants to the Manipur is a problem. So the land is limited. So you and we should stand together for that. To, no, that's why. That's to why. Protect, again, to, I'm to, to protect, that... we may they never accuse, may they never blame to any community for illegal immigrants. So if you know, we should point out. In the Manipur, ILP is there, and the government of India has the provision of NRC, okay. Citizen okay. Amendment Act, CA, CAA. So we should respect the rules of the Indian government. So we should stand together to protect our land, protect our state, protect our country from juntas. Yeah, yeah, your 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 points well accepted, but there is a fact that. Uh, there is a lot of accusation from our Maidai brothers against the no, tribe. It is uh, you. You have to show that uh, evidence. Uh, how the yes. Maidai has accused. That's why. 
our the media brothers, they, like they, Gustav has said, media brothers need to bring up the evidence with the concrete data, which is very, very valid. And it's very interesting. So there is a natural phenomena, but all of us have to agree on one point that it has to be a legal way of migration. Yes. Any sort of illegal migration may not be considered a natural phenomena that is acceptable. So let's 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 give data a chance. Let's give concrete evidence a chance on this issue. Any last thought, Misao and uh, Rajan, and we can conclude this. So my my last point is we should stand together, Mr. Misao and our entire thirty four communities of the Manipur thirty five communities Manipur should stand together to protect the illegal immigrants, illegal migrants, the refugees, because this is our land. Our land is limited. Our we are under the constitution of India. We should respect the constitution of India. That's all. This is my last point. Thank you okay, very much. The Maite should be included in the ST list of the Indian constitution and list of the Manipur's rival list. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And tell me so. I believe in authentic and authenticity. Mm. So um, let's do away the suspicions. Mm and the fear that we have with assumption. So this yeah. assumption is something that will kill all, all the community, yeah. that will destroy the peaceful coexistence, that will destroy the harmony and the peace. And because of this assumption, what is happening in Manipur is the results of this assumption. Now, so that actually that is the hypothetical assumption. So let me see, Rajan, Rajan, Rajan. I think this is concluding the map. Okay, yeah. fine. Okay, mm. We are not debating anymore. Mm. Uh, we are not debating anymore. I am right. sending out this message to the entire population. Yes. So, uh, trust deficit has been becoming very high in Manipur, and let's stop. Um, let's stop the feeling of. A close community let's be let's become inclusive community respecting identity is very important let's respect our identity and our culture but let's that respecting our culture and identity should not be one strong tool that will divide us that's why i'm saying i'm clearly saying let's respect our differences and accept our similarities we have lots of similarities Let's move out of Northeast. Nobody will say you are Manipur. Nobody will say you are Nagas. Nobody will say you are Kuki. Nobody will say you are Mizo. Nobody will say you are Bodos. Or nobody will say you are Kasi. They see us all together as one. But within, we are always fighting. So let's stop these things by respecting our differences and accepting our similarities and doing away with all these, all these uh, toxic suspicious mindset that create fear, that fear erupted into a mistrust and that mistrust resulted into violence, killing, destroying all these things. So this is my appeal to the entire population of the Northeast in general and to the Manipur in particular. Let's love each other. Let's not fall victims and pray to the external forces that is at play dividing us and trying to uh, like trying to um, trying to do away our existence so that's my last word yes yeah. I, I do respect it so we expect uh, we, we I, I respect your state great great so we we are at least agreeing on one or a few points together. Now, for from the, the takeaways for tonight's discussion is that tribals do not necessarily oppose the demand of ST because that's their constitutional rights. And also, Maydays do not necessarily plan to acquire the tribal's land. It's not there in their agenda. But that's what we stand, that's what we think for now. And time will tell what it, time will tell 
the true nature of all these fights and demands and opposition. So for now, we cannot guarantee anything. That's our statements. But time will tell all of this. And also, we have to take away the fact that we all we would always need a solid data and evidence in order to make a come up come up with the concrete you know in order to make a point without making a without the availability of concrete evidence and data i think it's very dangerous and harmful to assume and to speculate things and take actions based on speculations thank you and very much so thank you guys mr um Hejang Misao and Mr. Rajan Hizam for joining for this, joining this conversation. I respect and salute you guys, despite you guys agreed to join for this discussion, despite the fact that you guys are from rival camps or rival ideologies or rival beliefs as of now. So we should be able to come together and have a discussion like this, despite our differences. That's the way forward. So I salute you and respect you for this. And I look forward to discussing on this issue in the in the future anytime when it is required. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And thanks to all the viewers. We have more than 1,000 people viewing us, um, debating and talking on this issue. So thanks to all the viewers for joining us on this conversation. And we appreciate for all the thoughts and comments that you have shared with us. And feel free to keep sharing. This is democracy, and we are living in 2023. We respect each differences that we have we have um, in ourselves. So thank, thank you so you. much, and good night to you all. Thank you.